I'm happy to introduce my colleague Ivana Tareb, who joined this uh, institute uh, less than a year ago uh, and is taking the leadership of the laboratory uh, for the research on skin aging and, and skin diseases. This uh, research is uh, the result of a partnership and collaboration with an exceptional person and a friend, Jean-Noël Torel, uh, who has founded three dermo cosmetic companies under the common name of, uh, of NAOS. Uh, the collaboration with uh, NAOS is important to this institute from several points of view. Uh, one, that the uh, skin is the organ the most easily accessible for observation and, and, and research. And this was so something almost m missing uh, from our studies with cell culture, with human cells in, in, in petri dishes. Now one can study pieces of skin, one can study the effect on, of our uh, research of effect of certain molecules on the skin. And Ivana took fortunately, I'm happy and, 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 and lucky that uh, uh, you uh, were motivated enough to move from the university to, to uh, our institute. And uh, once again, uh, we, we uh, welcome uh, to this uh, institute. And uh, tell us uh, briefly what was your motivation and how do you feel professionally and personally uh, since you are here for less than a year, as I said. Yeah. Well, thank you uh, for, uh, for introduction. I, I must say that I'm very, very happy working here. I, uh, I really enjoy and one of the uh, internal motivations for me was uh, to start uh, uh, doing the research in something new. Uh, so I think the, that uh, this is how we grow as persons, I actually take new challenges and I really do like ch challenges and uh, trying to uh, broaden our skills and uh, uh, becoming better and better professional. And uh, medals was uh, always uh, on, uh, on a really good um, uh, high level of research activities because I had collaboration before when I was working at the University of Split, so I know how uh, groups here work. And I was really highly motivated by these uh, working standards and working values that Medal supplied. So, um, and now I, I witness them, <laughs> really. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy to uh, be part of the whole story, Medal story, and uh, to do something very interesting mm. and very useful, actually. The research we are doing has concrete application uh, in mm. human health and, uh, and beauty. So uh, I, I'm, these are really um, uh, inspiring things for yeah. me and working with you as well, of course. <laughs> uh, if, I, if, I, if I may uh, uh, intervene again, uh, that uh, you and your group mm -hmm. have a special internal strategic position mm -hmm. because until now for last... Uh, 10 to 15 years, we've been interested in the robustness of life, mm -hmm. uh, studying special organisms, in the um, uh, longevity and, and health. Mm -hmm. okay? So really trying to understand what is the chemistry, you are mm -hmm. the chemist, mm -hmm. what is the chemistry of aging, yeah. and, and what is the initial chemistry of, of diseases. Mm -hmm. uh, before one can see the damage done by, by, by disease. And in that sense, your group is uh, the one that is closest to application. Mm -hmm. uh, Pasteur, who is considered the father of applied uh, biology into, into health uh, and, and medicine, uh, he said himself something like, uh, there is no applied science, there is only application of science. Yeah, 
and uh, we did a lot of our homework on mm -hmm. science, on fundamental science, trying to understand mm -hmm. uh, how life works and 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 how it ceases to work perfectly with aging mm -hmm. and what happens to cause specific diseases, hundreds of them, mm -hmm. that increase with, with, with age. And uh, we are really uh, uh, privileged now that, that we have this uh, uh, continuum, the, the connection now between pure academic knowledge mm -hmm. and then in a way testing this pure academic knowledge. Mm -hmm. Does it really work Works. the way we imagine? Mm -hmm. By the application, by a predictive yeah. uh, uh, application make mm -hmm. predictions and if they are realized mm -hmm. then you can believe yeah. that that the fundamental science is okay mm -hmm. and in that sense uh, again it's uh, it's it's very fortunate I didn't have that before in my own lab mm -hmm. we would usually export the no knowledge mm -hmm. to 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 some uh, startup company or whatever mm -hmm. but this time we have it in the same space mm -hmm. and and i'm really uh, uh, happy and welcome yeah. you belatedly mm -hmm. once again to 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 this to this institute and to the continuation of of very good start mm -hmm. that, uh, that that we enjoyed uh, uh, both and and you with your colleagues yeah so sorry for interruption no no uh, i just te yes i te would add te te tell us briefly uh, how do you See what, also what is the main strategy if we know or we believe that we know the chemistry of aging. Mm -hmm. Now you are the chemist. Mm -hmm. We would like to interfere chemically yeah. with chemistry of aging in order to slow it down yeah. or in order to bring the particular uh, defect that causes a disease, a skin mm -hmm. disease. It could be an psoriasis or something like that. Uh, uh, to 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 intervene with with the counter chemistry mm -hmm. upon the chemistry of aging, all right? Yeah. And now yeah. now you should feel at home because mm -hmm. it is chemistry and yeah, life is chemistry, <laughs> just organized in a way yeah, that yeah. is called biology, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, structurally, uh, and so the, tell me your own uh, you know almost emotional uh, uh, mm -hmm. appreciation. What is the most challenging for you? what you find at this moment most promising in terms of translation of pure fundamental science into useful mm -hmm. application. Yeah, well, I can tell you immediately the, the really high value that we have here is that there are other groups who are working uh, in fundamental research in biology and their knowledge can be like directly apply just by being physically uh, next to okay. each other so yeah. we can discuss and uh, find uh, different approaches in research that could be applied uh, in our ILF lab and we are doing this mm. on a daily basis so yeah. I think the majority yes. of my work is the discussion with you mm. uh, with the other group leaders with uh, our colleagues when mm. we, are, we have some uh, issues we need to solve we need to think or discuss there are plenty of uh, professionals, we could right. do that, and I think the just being in the same space make uh, makes things much easier and oh, yeah. more efficient. Because yeah. uh, I just literally yeah. knock on the door of uh, other uh, group leaders mm. on your. I, I'm I know I'm always uh, welcome to You're come to for, welcome. for discussion, more than and I appreciate ah. this very very much mm. uh, because when um, there are things, of course, uh, that you need insight from uh, from mm. other people who understand uh, the topic, the scientific mm. topic. And they can give you by their experience, especially knowledge mm. uh, that you have uh, that uh, can give the really concrete um, uh, and uh, concrete advices. So we can we could do this uh, application from like science, uh, doing this step from science mm. to application. And I think the when uh, when you have experts like highly skilled experts we have here. Uh, then this trans uh, transition from fundamental research to application mm -hmm. is very easy because you can uh, easily uh, identify direction which we yes. can uh, go in research that would be meaningful, right? Yeah, that's that's perfectly clear uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, of main 
the most important global strategy that we don't go in a non-productive direction. Exactly. Uh, but tell us now which which molecules you are, you are after. What 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 do what is your sort of short term uh, mm -hmm. target uh, that you would expect from the application of science? Yeah. Uh, which uh, which kind of molecules, which kind of effects mm -hmm. are you looking yeah. for? Uh, well, that's, uh, so uh, as a chemist, I, I feel like I'm on the playground. I mm -hmm. feel like uh, the, there is a whole universe of natural compounds that you could uh, use in uh, uh, healthcare or cosmetics. And now I have opportunity to really, like really work on the, on the application of these molecules because there, are, there is like plenty of them. Yes. But by knowing the chemistry and knowing biology of how cells work, you can combine this knowledge and uh, be more efficient. So um, if, if, uh, if we talk about the uh, skin aging, that mm. is the main topic of the Medals Institute, that, uh, the, the aging and then the skin aging, that mm. is the topic of now cells lab. Uh, in that context, uh, we are looking for the molecules that could help maintain the uh, homeostasis of the skin uh, cells and we are focused uh, of course on the proteins because that's uh, one of the topics of the research in at medals so we are trying to focus on the skin proteins mm -hmm. and trying to find the molecules that could have protective uh, effect over the proteins in the skin in order to uh, protective see, against what uh, protective from the stress uh, from the outside you mentioned the uh, uh, light uh, uv light stress mm -hmm. or uh, uh, oxidative stress uh, or any kind that uh, that could be uh, specifically interesting for the skin mm -hmm. because uh, other cells can have other impacts mm -hmm. uh, uh, other uh, types of the stress and here we know what are the types mm -hmm. of the stress, uh, uh, stress on the skin cells that uh, uh, so it just narrows down the approach in which we, we can go so what what would be your and a dream now, what you would, in the best scenario that you can imagine, what would be uh, the, 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 the target, the effect of your uh, research of collaboration between fundamental and, and, and targeted research? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what result would you like to see? Uh, well, uh, so... Um... Many, many times people maybe think about some extremes, like, oh, I will take a cure and it's going to make me like uh, mm. living for, for, yes. for, like, for eternity. But I think it's important to find the balance. And uh, we know that uh, uh, each life has a, a different lifespan. Mm. So what would be perfect is to uh, find the molecules that could... Uh, uh, provide us like the maximum of lifespan that each person ca can achieve by having the uh, healthy uh, skin in this yeah. case, right? But health, healthy state of the cells. Uh, it's like the maximizing, uh, maximizing the um, realistic opportunity. Yeah, the potential. Potential. Uh, the yeah, potential absolutely. that is given by yes by by by, by, by the genes. genes. Yeah, um, exactly. So. Uh, so what, if you imagine the skin, what is the main chemical difference? Mm -hmm. Again, if you are mm -hmm. the chemist, what, what do you think is the main chemical difference between the nice, smooth skin of a baby mm -hmm. and, say, my skin or somebody even older? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we we know for sure there are uh, changes on biochemical level in the uh, cells. Uh, they are also happening uh, uh, in the baby's skin uh, just uh, between few days, right? Yes. And of course, during the whole lifespan. Mm. Uh, the changes are, uh, for sure, we know that they're happening in the matter of protein. Yes. Uh, uh, in the matter of uh, matrix as well between uh, mm -hmm. that happens between uh, the, the cells and uh, there are structural changes that happen during the life uh, functional changes mm -hmm. as well so uh, th there is a list of things that uh, yeah. we notice already but there is also a really broad uh, area of uh, potential research 
and undiscovered mm. things that we could uh, also uh, find out. I don't know, was, uh, uh, am I on, on, on a good track? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was unfair in asking this question <laughs> because simply because there are too many differences. Yeah, exactly. You yes. look at mitochondria, the membrane, I'm trying to DNA, be general. Right? everything is, <laughs> is, is different. Mm -hmm. But we are scientifically betting on something mm -hmm. that, the, that all of these differences that one sees chemically or even structurally, mm -hmm. that they have Background. one origin, mm -hmm. uh, that they are all synthesized and maintained mm -hmm. by the activity proteins. of proteins. Yeah, definitely. And when we look in what shape are the proteins, mm -hmm. Uh, then we hope, we almost believe, that there should be the downstream consequences, that all of these numerous so-called biomarkers mm -hmm. and so on, changes, are actually caused by the changes in the activity mm -hmm. of, the uh, of the proteins. And, uh, and I, I can just hope, wish to all of us that... Uh, that that we are not uh, wrong. I can, mm -hmm. I certainly couldn't find in, in the, the 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 weak point in this hypothesis, um, and that's why why we continue mm -hmm. in, in in until until we get to surprise. Research is full of surprises, yeah, and so uh, some are cheerful and nice because we. Mm -hmm get what we expected, mm -hmm. and, and others are unpleasant surprises, which says, you are on the wrong track. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that, the sooner this mm -hmm. second happens, mm -hmm. you are on the wrong track. The sooner it happens, the better, the better it is. Of yes, one, one loses less, less not, time. Yeah, but I, I, uh, I will personally say that uh, the risk at this point, after 10, 15 years of research, that uh, we are all together on the wrong track is very, very low. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. <laughs> I, I think we already have evidence yes. that uh, right. this is a good hypothesis. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mira.